Okay, you're probably wondering why is there a, a rectangle of foam outside cooking in the sun? Why is there no sheets on half of your uh, futon off-grid mattress? Why is there a piece of foam curled up in here? Well, let's just get into it. This dude's pretty chill. He stole my spot. But uh, he rocks a, a electric unicycle during the day. Guy camps and then electric unicycle out the back of the out the back of the bus, the box truck. Like he's like he's seen it on YouTube or something before. What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for clicking that like button. I've been on one, guys. I have been on one recently. I've been grinding out content as I do. But I've been faced with just so many issues with the GoPro, with the audio, with just everything. Even though it's like the, the eight that I vouch for, I don't know, I talk about it way too much, but I, uh, I had like three vlogs ruined due to malfunctions beyond my control. So hopefully this one works. We, we're going to the library. It's going to be ice raining for a week. So we got to make some kind of content while it's still somewhat livable outside. Here we go. This is some Red Bull shit right here. Oh, that was fun. Okay, we got to get a quick bite to eat here at Whole Foods. And then we're going to roll over to the library. And then on the way there, I'm going to get into why my uh, mattress is completely thrashed. Jesus. Is that me being weird? This is Saron Country, and you're watching Dylan's channel. Yummy, yummy, yummy pizza. Okay, so a couple nights ago, lady calls me up around midnight, says, hey, I'm going to be uh, off or, you know, done doing whatever she does at night in about 20 minutes. I'm going to be done in like 20 minutes. You want me to come over? I said, yeah, sure, because that's still relatively early in my world, right? So I'm sitting around waiting. 2 a.m. rolls around. I get a text message that says, update, lost my joke book. Going on a mission to find it with friends. All right, all right, all right, all right, I get it. Whew, it's cold. I'm thinking, okay, so she ain't coming over. 3.20 a.m. Rolls around. She calls me. She's messed up. She is messed up, can barely talk. And it's like, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm like, where's here? You're not by me. Honk your horn. She is here. She is like, uh, you know, a block away. I'm like, all right. Yeah, come on over. She proceeds to slur. I cannot believe she drove. I do not, ad I do not uh, advocate for this uh, type of driving, operating a vehicle while under the influence of ketamine. Some of you probably know what ketamine is, but... It's a drug that is for putting horses to sleep. It's a 
horse tranquilizer. This girl tells me she did, did some ketamine. And she's uh, continuously getting out of bed and going to the bus doors, vomiting outside into the grass of a residential neighborhood that I'm parked in trying to be chill. Damn, I'm not even going to look. Dang, that's f***ed up. Damn, I didn't even check the bike path. Anyways, pukes. Puking. Keep on thinking it's done. She gets up, goes and pukes. And I'm just so disappointed in, uh, you know, her. But also my decision to say, come on over. And, uh, you know, whatever. Go to bed at, at some point. Middle of the night, I wake up. I put my hand on her butt cheek. And it's soaking wet. And I said, why is your ass wet? She proceeded to mumble and say that, uh, oh, it's, it's not, it's not, don't worry, I didn't piss the bed. I said, okay, and just went back to bed. Alarm goes off, wake up, I examine further. This woman pissed my bed. Pissed my bed. And I'm like, what, you know, she's so embarrassed, and I'm like, what the hell? Who pisses the bed as an adult? Yeah, shit happens, but she's embarrassed. She says, please let me, please let me wash these. And I'm like, no, you got to go to work. I got to take care of this now. I don't want to have piss sheets and foam mattress, by the way. My mattress is just three sheets of foam. Thank God it's cut in half the long way. So only half of the mattress was sacrificed, right? Whatever. I take care of it. I get over it. I chill with her again. I make fun of her. It's, you know, I'm over it at this point. I'm over it at this point. Pretty shitty, but I'm over it at this point. Hang out with her another night. She hits me up at midnight. Doesn't sound too messed up. I say, yeah, come on over. Comes over, falls asleep, pisses the other half of the mattress. And then I'm just like, all right, well, you're taking care of this. You, you take care of this. This is your mistake. Oh, God, freaking open micers, man. I'm telling you, I'm sick of this. Nice. You will obey me, Camry. You will obey me. I use my mind powers. Hey, Siron! I use my mind powers to get that guy to back up. Oh my god, that is cold. Okay, we're gonna I got so I got a bunch more to talk about, but first I gotta go to the library here. I'm gonna bring my jackrabbit everywhere. Oh I'm gonna bring my jackrabbit with me wherever I go here see if they allow that but then we're gonna come back it's gonna be dark and uh, I got more shit to talk about <laughs> 32 pounds no biggie 32 pounds What's up? It's Sir Ronster, and you're watching Dylan's channel. Okay, they kicked us out of there. They said no bikes. I'm like, this thing is hardly a bike but i'm not gonna argue no bikes i guess follow the rules but the rules don't make sense in this situation 
because the pegs fold up and it's really tiny. So I don't know. I didn't get to upload my video. Didn't get to edit a new video. I'm cold. Still kind of hungry. But um, we got to make some content. We need to make some content before this ice winter comes for a week. Besides that, I will say that Texas is great in the winter time. Perfect temps. Uh, what else did I want to talk about, guys? Oh, uh, stand-up comedian much? Yeah, I did stand-up comedy, finally, after talking about it for, uh, I want to say nine years. Um, yeah, I did stand up out at a place called Slim's Last Chance out in Round Rock. There was nine people there. Some were comedians, I know. And I am not going to lie, I murdered it. No, definitely didn't murder it. But for the first time, uh, all my jokes did land. I was a little nervous, but uh, I didn't tell any jokes. I didn't bomb. I didn't bomb a single joke. People were laughing because I was awkward and nervous, you know, but that's better than dead silence. Speaking of dead silence, I took my confidence from that five minute set and I converted it into three minutes to go do it again over at Brian Redband's club, Sunset Strip. Best comedy club in Austin. And uh, I go over there, I do three minutes all confident. I memorize it. I got it to like exactly two minutes and f 53 seconds. I'm saying it over and over out loud. I'm timing myself. I go there. There's way more people. There's got to be at least 30, 40 people there. Call my name. Go up there. And I f bombed. Like proper bomb. Like say a joke, super confident, and then silence. I did one joke. I did one joke about Africanized bees. Not gonna spoil the punchline for you, but blah, 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 Africanized bees punchline. Complete silence except for a guy kind of in the front who goes, wow. So, uh, yeah, I told Red Band I did good, and he goes, oh, that's good. Now you're gonna bomb 10 times in a row. So I have nine more times to go. This Jackrabbit XG comes with a uh, bell, but it's not just a bell, it's a bell with a binary trigger. You 2A guys know what that means. Yeah, so you boys on the circuit. I did stand up twice, which is enough for me to say that I'm a stand up when I hang out in the green room with Red Band. I can be like, oh yeah. Stand up, oh yeah, I do it. I do it, I've, I've done it. Um, but yeah, I totally get why people do it because you catch the bug and then you get high off the energy of the crowd and it feels amazing. And um, yeah. I'm already part of the comedy scene anyway out here. I might as well be contributing to it in some sh fashion. <sighs> Guys, this XG is freaking sick. I hit up Emily because, you know, I wanted one. I wanted to make a video on one, but this is legit like a bike that I would keep and use a lot. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the bus. I got a propane heater, a Mr. Buddy. I got a conversion hose that lets you hook it up to a 20 gallon tank. I just need a 20 gallon tank of propane. I also have an electric heater. But we can't live off the electric heater off grid. So we gotta find a plug for the next week, or else we're gonna we're gonna shiver up. And if we don't die from uh, freezing to death, we're gonna die from uh, asphyxiation from the propane. We're gonna die from inhaling pro uh, carbon monoxide at night, maybe. Man, I'm digging this bike. A little more speed would be nice, but like, 
like a new controller maybe and uh, hydraulic brakes but that's the only thing this bike really needs and a USB but um, no this bike is very robust I didn't realize that the uh, the Jackrabbit OG doesn't have this little this piece right here the BMX bar so, so it's actually extremely strong and light I let Brandon Pemberton uh, ride around on it and he was really putting it to the test so I'm excited to like go hit some legit jumps with this go and uh, you know do some Suron stuff only with an XG what is that thing a zero Dude, that's the Rivid. Oh, it's a red light. You're at a red light. Light's red. Anyways. That's gonna be the vlog, guys. Don't buy GoPro cameras. Don't rely on the quality of a GoPro, regardless of what number it is. Support your local loophole. Uh, huge gargantuan shout out to MX Electric and Aaron Binder. Two already patrons upping their Patreon pledge to 25 bucks a month. Thank you guys. That means so much to me. I don't know where I'd be without my patrons, so it really helps when you guys do stuff like that. It goes directly into my diesel tank. Directly into my composting toilet that this open micer chick definitely should have used before she passed out. Check out my, uh, check out my Instagram, Dill Eagle. More up-to-date content, and I do live streaming from my Ray-Bans. Check out my merch shop, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're not already a member of Loophole Culture Underground. Stay tuned. Survive the cold. If you're down, if you're down here in Texas, oh my god, I'm so sorry for the one night that it's gonna be 15 degrees. Be prepared. Chase your dreams. Buy a Jackrabbit XG with my code. Use my code down below to purchase your Jackrabbit XG. Saves 5%. And I get a little kickback too, so it supports the channel. Peace!